I asked my Discord if they preferred balloons or bananas, and it wasn't even close. So this is how I tried surviving 100 days using only bananas. So yeah, enjoy. Now, there's two different ways to get bananas, either in the ocean or in caves. So I'm giving myself 10 days to prepare, meaning as soon as I spawn, I have to be fast and gather all the resources nearby to rush an alchemy engine and prototype all the things I need. Give me that. Caves are a lot closer, so I make sure I check all the entrances I can find and look for anything that might lead to the ruins. Unfortunately, this one didn't have anything besides some spiders. So I have to keep walking and this is where I find the birch stump biome. Yes. Which is great since Peking Village means an instant alchemy chungus. engine. Unfortunately, there wasn't any here. Unfortunately, guys, Big Chungus is canceled. But I still put down my science machine to make a backpack to be able to carry more stuff with me. And on day three, I found Ooh, this. Bunny man. Bunny man, bunny man. This is great since I will need them to set up my first plantation. And while hammering down their houses, I noticed something even better. Oh. Blue mushroom biome, blue mushroom biome. This biome will always be connected to the muddy biome by a small branch which will always lead to the ruins. There we go, right here. So after taking a short nap, yay, they sleep by Gaten Set. And having flashbacks about the Slurper challenge, I King Slurper. I find just what I needed. <gasps> oh my god, look at all these bananas. Oh my god. However, cape bananas take four days to grow back and will completely stop growing during winter. So I need to find a better way to get more bananas than this, or else I won't even make it past winter. But there is a solution, and this is where the bunny man huts come into play. See, by putting them close to the monkeys and befriending one, I can make them all fight and get one banana from each monkey. So I do that for a bit, and then I realize I might have underestimated these chimps a bit. Still, I got a good amount of food, so I take them back to the base and start looking for more locals to evict, but there wasn't really much besides these rats fighting Wormwood's cousin. Yeah, fight him. And after helping them out, I totally forget about my vegan roommate. Hi, bunny. Ow! I forgot. I'm over halfway through the prep time now, so I want to have everything ready soon. Although I really should be more careful. Oh, no, no, no. On day 8, I go down Let's another go. cave entrance and find some more white supremacists to exploit. Hammer time. But the very next day, I have an idea that will later on completely change how I farm bananas. Wait, what if I take some rock lobsters? And after running the slowest underground railroad in history, I'm losing daylight here. I cross the 10 day limit. But wait, you don't think I'll be eating these bananas raw, do you? What am I, some wormwood main? Of course not. So after putting together a crock pot, I make the food that will carry the entire early game. Yes. Now, while this food will restore the same amount of hunger as eating a raw banana, it will actually give me 33 sanity, making it great for being a caveman to avoid the sanity drain from darkness. So now, with the help from Slasher's worst Whoa. enemy, I go back to try out the new and improved banana plantation. But after trying it out for a bit, I realized it's still not good enough. See, not only are the bunnies only out for a short amount of time, eat the bananas when they drop, but will Very also good. kill me if I accidentally pick up a single piece of meat. However, I already spent so much time setting up the farm and it's the only way I have right now. And after picking the cave bananas for the last time before winter, the worst thing possible happens. He doesn't even follow me. God damn it. Without carrots, I have no way to operate this farm since I can't make them fight. And with no more bananas growing, there is no way for me to survive. Or at least that would be the case if I didn't have a secret plan. I'm gonna go get all the rock lobsters. And wow, this is amazing. I got so many bananas in such a short amount of time and with winter upon us, I can now also level up the food game with just a bit of help from some pingles. And now the final form of a banana. This is a special recipe that I learned in Vietnam. Now this is the best banana Woo! dish possible because not only does it give six more hunger per banana, but with its 30 health on top of that, I can also starve myself for yeah, 30 yeah, extra yeah. seconds and be completely Boom. fine. Meaning I can almost double the duration of each banana all with the help of some ice. But wait, I'm not done yet because I can also make bananas last even longer. But for that, I need to get some bunnies, fight off the neighborhood strays, make a top hat, have a near-death oh experience, my God, dude. Ah! gather some teeth, show off my superior intelligence to the monkeys. <laughs> uh, but after using the best banana farmers in the game, this is probably the safest I've ever been in the ruins, seriously. And almost throwing it all. No, 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 no. 
I need just one last thing to go Super Saiyan. But then I get ambushed. Bro, that's my tree. What are you doing? Oh my god, bro. This skin. And without anything prepared for this fight, I have to deal with some nightmares. And by the time I get back to Deer Clubs, he had already left for some milk. Where's Deer Clubs fat ass? He despawned, didn't he? Ah, oh, that's just great. That's just, that's just. Still, I was able to get the final ingredient we as go. well as plenty of ice and silk to make the final upgrades for this challenge. Oh, yes, sir. Now, wearing this belt will reduce my hunger drain by 40%, meaning I can make bananas last almost indefinitely. So now with peak Hungarian nationalism, I head back to the ruins to farm more bananas and try perfecting the rock lobster strategy. Okay, so I think we got most of the monkeys. Well, most of the bananas. Oh, and with yes, spring back. upon us, bananas growing back. Oh my god, we're gonna have so much food. I get me over an entire stack of bananas. Ooh, that's a lot of bananas. And with so much food now, I can now focus on bigger things. So I murdered some little piggies for their treasure. Take this. And on night 46, I began the first boss fight. <laughs> and with a bit of Dude, help. I, I did. Okay, a lot of help. I, I did not plan this, but. It's great. I finish it off on day 50. <laughs> that was easy. I'm now over halfway through the challenge and everything is looking great. So I decided to do a bit of remodeling and adopt little Gilbert. Woo! However, with all the overworld adventures, our food situation was looking a bit grim. Oh my god, no. So I go back to my plantation and work it in the most efficient way yet. A life in the day of a rock lobster. And after making a fresh batch of mimosas, I think I went a little bit overboard. <laughs> I decide to finally check out the ruins, and these are honestly the worst ruins I've ever seen. But my farmers really know how to make up for it. You guys are great. Putting in that work. Yeah, we got this is great. Of bananas. But with great bananas come great potassium <laughs> ability. So to prove I'm the king of the caves, I decide to go after the top G. And it was a great fight. Oh, and although he fought bravely, I finally claimed the victory. Oh, 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 woo! Also, the meatballs I'm carrying are for Gilbert, not for me. Oh, sorry, I haven't fed you. Because he never seems to shut there the. You. And damn, Good this chest had some great loot. Oh, yeah! But wait, remember how I said there's two different places to get bananas? Well, now that I have committed monkey genocide and pretty much have unlimited bananas, I want to try to get to the second place, since the bananas you can find on this island can actually be dug up and moved. So I start mapping out more than the edge of the map, but then Berger decided he didn't want me doing that. However, I think he picked the wrong forest to throw a tantrum in. What? He spawned tree guards already? Yeah. So I finished checking out most of the edges, make some more food for the trip, and now I'm off to the sea. And surprisingly, after just one day of sailing, I find the lunar island. There it is. I knew it was here. Okay, not really. Why is there just little lunar island, bro? Where's the full one? But I did get plenty of kelp for filler. So I decided to go back home since I've already spent 100 days on the boat before. And I'm sick and tired of rowing. This is the worst freaking voyage ever. And I'm also getting sick and tired of Gilbert. Dude, shut up. So I go back and take off time in the caves to relax, and wow, this farm works great. I don't even know why I was panicking if I know that bananas are endless. So good that I'm actually running out of ice instead of bananas. So I go look for some more, and although most of the glaciers are already melting, thankfully I was able to get a good amount of ice. However, I need to start preparing for the finale, so I commit America. He'll walk right into it, and then I can just kill him in my inventory. And then grab all the light bulbs I can fit in my pocket to become the greatest cowboy in the world. Let's go. You're just trying to exploit me, aren't you? Or at least I try. Because for some reason, Beefalo seemed to really ah, not like me. Great job, Beefalo. You put me in the worst freaking spot ever. However, even with these setbacks, I'm able to put everything together by day 90 and still have plenty of time to get me some more bananas. <laughs> you see, you get one to take all the damage. You get one to kill him. Perfect strategy. And give the bunnies a redemption arc. Hey, I want those bananas. Don't be eating them. You see? And now with an another entire stack of bananas, I start preparing all the food for the final fight. Which was a really bad idea. But I set up an icebox by the pieces so I won't have to keep walking back and forth. And since I haven't seen McNutt's this whole challenge, I decide to camp outside his house and watch him sleep. McNutt, I'm a huge fan. And after taking care of him, where are you going? 
Deer Clops finally shows back up with the milk from last year. Yeah, pig. But then disappears again. Did he despawn? He better not have despawned, dude. Ah, oh, he despawned. But that doesn't matter because just as day 101 comes to an uh, end and the new moon rises, I pick up my pickaxe and begin the final fight. Now, the easiest way to do this is to first take out the knight, but I'm having a bit of trouble separating them from each other, taking a lot of damage, and even worse, the food that I made so long ago is now spoiling. But thankfully, one of the tree guards that you? killed Berger is still around. Fight the tree guard. Yes, fight the tree guard. And help me get to the second stage before yes. being brutally murdered. Ah, yes, teamwork. Oh, no. And now I'm taking even more damage, uh, but I keep kiting, feeding my eye mask, and finally manage to kill the bishop. Come on, you're close, you're close, you're close, you're close. Come on, come on. Yes, 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 yes. Moving yes, on yes, to yes. the stage oh three rook. Oh my god. Now oh all I have god, to do oh is stay on the road and keep running, making sure that I heal in between and try not to. Oh my god, that's fucked. <sighs> oh hey, watch this other video for a free banana shake.